Okay, we're starting this test uh, at 73.5 degrees. We're going to turn on a flame here. And here's the intake bridge right here. Okay, back to this. We're at 75.76, 77, 78, 79, 80. Ah, I ruined it. I've hit it one time too many. Okay, I've been doing this test for about uh, two days now and the Nomex finally gave up the ghost. But I don't think you'll ever see heat like that, but look at the temperature inside, 86 degrees, and it started melting the plastic as well. So um, I, don't, I don't know what the temperature is actually on the outside. Let's just see real quick. I've got a laser, and the laser tells me it is right now 100 and 181, about 181 degrees, 192. So I would say it was probably well over 200 degrees. I don't know if you could see that. 174 now. So it did cool down. But the Nomex gave up the ghost. Finally, I've been roasting this thing for about three days. And it does destroy the Nomex evidently, but it does protect the plastic plastic is really not melted so you can see we've uh, we've given this uh, the royal treatment uh, the Nomex will hold up to flame for probably five minutes but uh, you can see even now it's only 92 degrees so it's gone up uh, from 76 to 93 degrees and that flame was on there probably about uh, I'd say somewhere in the neighborhood of 20, 25 seconds. But we have this cloth available. Um, we don't have any in stock right now. We had one, and you can see that's now destroyed. Um, but this is about the sixth or seventh test that I've done on that same spot. And it was okay up until this last test. And now we're sitting at 90, 95 degrees. So it still has not hit 20 degrees hotter. And uh, I suspect we we're probably 300, 400 degrees at that point in time. This is our Nomex sock for the Stinger RZ.